Hello everyone, you are welcome to Mathematics Tour. This is Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper 3, written in May, June 2024. This paper is meant for all students. There are nine questions in this paper. I will make a video per question. That implies that there are nine videos in this playlist. If you are seeing this channel for the first time please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking the subscribe button hit the notification bell to receive notification anytime i upload new videos also like comment and share this video let's jump into the first question from the list of numbers write down a factor of 21 so we have 6 7 10 12 18 32, 49, and 63. So a factor of 21 will be a number that can divide 21 without any remainder. So we have 7. A square number. So a square number is um, got when you multiply an integer by itself. Take for instance, if you say um, 3 multiplied by 3, you have 9. So 9 is a square number. So if you look at the numbers here, okay, you see that it's only 49, you could write as 7 by 7, so that would be uh, 49, so 49 is a square number, so a prime number, so a prime number is a number that has only two factors, so one and itself, okay, so if you check this, or you can say a prime number is a number that can uh, be divided by one and itself so it's still correct so here if you look at the prime number you have here so seven is a prime number because it has only two factors one and uh, itself okay so that will be um, a prime number so you have seven here so six is not a prime number because aside one and itself so it is divisible by two and three so 10 is not a prime number aside one and itself it is divisible by two and five so six is not a prime number aside one and itself it is divisible by two three four and six so and so on and so forth okay so that's how to get a prime number so part b find the value of the cube root of 1728 okay so you just have to input this into your calculator you should get 12 and so then to stress yourself this is just a mark then find the value of 2 to the power of 5 so it means um 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 you could as well input this into your calculator as well so you get 32 okay so this is zero law of indices it is equals to one and this is fractional index that's another law of indices so it will be square root of 36 and this will give you six okay but c put one pair of brackets into this calculation to make it correct Okay, so if you take this and this, okay, so you follow board mass, so you start with the bracket, so this will be 6 minus 2, that will be 4 divided by 2, and we have 3 by 2 minus 6, so the next one you do is one that appears uh, from your left, okay, that is uh, multiplication and division, they are the next one, and the one you do first between the two is the one that comes from your left so let's go with multiplication that will be three by two that will be six okay so six uh minus four okay so let, i don't want to confuse you so you have six minus four divided by two left six minus four divided by two so you have six uh, four divided by uh, 2 that would be uh, 2 and you have 6 minus 2 that would be 4 so if you divide 4 by 2 
you have 2 so 6 minus 2 will be equals to 4 so that is the final answer there so for part d find the lowest common multiple that's also m of 30 and 68 okay so i have um some videos on my youtube channel for this so there are many ways you could get the lcm so you could do 30 multiplied by 68 okay then you divide by the uh, highest common factor of 30 and 68 that is the highest number that can divide 30 and 68 so in this case just have two so if you input this into your calculator so you should get 1020 okay so alternatively so you can do this um, downward division you have 30 then you have 68 so you draw the line like this so 2 in 30 that will be 15 2 in 68 that will be 34 so 2 in 15 so it cannot go completely so you just drop it 2 in 34 that will be 17 so the next one will be 3 3 goes in 15 5 times Three cannot go in 17 you just drop 17 so the next one is 5 5 goes in 5 once 5 cannot go in 17 so you drop 17 and finally 17 is the last number so uh the also will be 2 by 2 by 3 by 5 by 17 if you multiply all these numbers together so you should get 1020 so you still get the same answer as this so this will be the end of the solution to question one so in the next video i will solve question two